First up at number 15, we have David Gilbert, emotional after his World Snooker Championship semi-final loss to John Higgins, being comforted by a BBC presenter. I can sense the emotion. I'm almost feeling it Sorry. with you. It's, um, you've done everyone proud, Dave. It's, uh, it's been an incredible run. When you think 10 years ago, you were kipping on a, a mate's sofa and look at what you've achieved for, for Abby and your, <clears throat> I'm going as well, and your, and your daughter. It's been incredible, really. 10 years ago, you wouldn't have believed this was possible, this run to the semis. But you do realise you, you've inspired a lot of people with this run because there's a lot of young pros out there who are going through the hard days, like you did all those years ago, and you kept believing, and you kept trying, and you made it to the single table set up at the Crucible, something that you probably wouldn't have believed was possible a few years ago. You've inspired people. It's just, if you want it, you gotta keep trying, you know what I mean? Uh, if something ain't working, you gotta try something different. That's what I did, and uh, it started paying off. I just hope I get more moments like this over the next few years. You've done yourself proud, mate. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Coming up at number 14, Ronnie O'Sullivan gave an emotional interview following a powerful moment with Judd Trump after winning his seventh world championship title. Me away. And I love Judd. I, got, I love him. You know what I mean? He's a good lad. He's a great, great lad. And I didn't realise what he thought of me until then. And I was like, different, different respect there. You know what I mean? I didn't realise how he sees me and how I've kind of helped or been part of his development, if you like. Well, and this is this is the side of you that we we seldom get to see because we know that obviously you're an entertainer on the on the bays, but actually it means everything. Next up at number 13, Ding Junhui, overwhelmed by his remarkable victory at the Shanghai Masters, found himself unable to hold back tears of joy. This um, um, For number 12, we have John Higgins's emotional 2011 World Championship win. Months after his father's passing, left him overwhelmed. The victory held immense significance, leading to a heartfelt moment with his family. Following up on number 11, Kieran Wilson's tearful joy in reaching the first World Snooker Final at Crucible. An unforgettable match with an incredible, unpredictable frame evokes strong emotions. It's the most remarkable way anyone has ever qualified for a Crucible Final. I didn't, I didn't keep myself together, that's what. Um, that's what I'm most annoyed about. Um, you know, I, I didn't feel like I was quite there today. I thought Anthony was absolutely phenomenal, you know. I put him straight under pressure to go three frames ahead with a with a 90. And um, he just, he stuck it up me basically. He just, every frame, every shot, he was just perfect. And he was having little bad rubs and it's a cruel game. And, um, you know, I've, I've dreamt of this moment. Next at number nine, Ronnie O'Sullivan's emotional reaction to winning his seventh world title was remarkable. It showcased his passion and dedication to the sport leaving an indelible mark on snooker history. My dad tells me the story about what it was like when I won my first world title where he was in a cell on his own. Mm. And the story, you know, was just like so different to this one, but mm. he's, it was just still, just, you know what I mean, for him to be here to see it, for my kids to be here. Little Ronnie was really young, they're older now. And it was just lovely, just lovely to have them all here, you know what I mean? I've enjoyed that my dad's had a great time here. At number eight, Selby's triumphant 2022 English Open win. Overwhelmed, reflecting on his determined journey. He is the English Open champion, and you can see it means an awful lot to him. Let's take a look at number seven, Selby's astounding 2007 championship. Overwhelming emotions dominate as he surpasses expectations. Mark Selby. And this is it. Mark Selby is going to be in the final. And at war 
water tastes good. He's done really, really well. Yes, take a break. Wonderful performance. Coming in at number six, Ashley Carty qualifies for his first World Snooker Championships, defeating Robert Milkins. A significant achievement, marking a pivotal moment in his career. Ashley, it's great to see how much this means to you. You almost wouldn't be human if you didn't have tears in your eyes at the moment. It was a, an incredible display of nerve. You must have been going through everything because not only are you going to make your Crucible debut, but as a result of so doing, you've guaranteed yourself another two years on tour and you don't need to go to Q school. Can you even begin to put into words the, the maelstrom of emotions that you're going through at the moment? I'm, I'm absolutely speechless. Um, as you've just seen, I've just come out tears of joy. I've never, ever felt... For number five, Milken's emotional title-winning break captivates crowd at 2023. Bet Victor Welsh Open Final, securing intense, memorable triumph. There's going to be a lot of emotion, as I say. What a moment for Robert Milkins. And the way he's done it, and the way he kept him there, he hung in there. Nothing was going to deny him this greatest moment of his snooker playing life. And he beats a Sean Murphy, who looks unbeatable during the week. But he never believed that, and he's produced the performance of his life, and he wins the Ben Victor Welsh Open by nine frames. Following up at number four, snooker legend Steve Davis retires, leaving a remarkable legacy. Honoured for skill, dedication, and contribution, Davis's achievements are celebrated. None of us can really. What a what a wonderful, wonderful appropriate celebration of all that you've done for this sport on and off the table well th yes thank you very much Rob um, it's it's uh, it's an emotional thing to do I didn't know what was going to happen I, I sort of was going to just sort of peter out from the game but I thought it was quite a nice thing to do my father passed away uh, this year uh, just before the world championships I still played in it he was with me from the start so I thought finish this time at number three Neil Robertson triumphs in a dramatic 10. Nine victory over Judd Trump in the 2019 Champion of Champions final, embracing his child in joyous celebration. Enough for the Australian number one in this deciding frame. 124. 130. Neil Robertson finishes in style with a 137. Total clearance. He becomes champion of champion, champion for the second time. And takes the first prize of £150,000. And coming in at number happened. two, Milkins shocks Robertson 10. Five at Crucible, ending the champion's hopes. The Milkman earns an emotional win, highlighting intense, memorable snooker history. Rob, history repeats itself. One of your biggest wins five years ago against Neil. You've done it again this year, and arguably even more emphatically. Yeah, it was a bit more pleasing this time, um, because I did play right. I played a lot better than I did what I can remember. It. Uh, was it five years ago? Yeah. Yeah, 2013. Yeah, a lot better today. And, um, you know, I started off really well, which sort of... Um, put me in good stuff for the rest of the match. Lastly, at number one, O'Sullivan experienced a wave of strong emotions after he failed to make a simple shot against Selvi, leading to his subsequent loss of the frame. I took that for granted, well, and no can, reason not to. I can only presume Johnny's misread the scoreboard. I mean, you can't possibly do that, can you? For more snooker videos, click on the video on the screen right now.